I'm going to show you where to find all three Ghost, Glove, Wart, Pickers, Bell bearings. There are three of them in the game. They will let you buy an unlimited amount of the Ghost, Glove, Warts that you can use to upgrade your summons to plus nine. To get plus ten, you'll have to use the... I forget what it's called, but the unique one, and you can't actually buy those ones. But you can buy all the way one through nine, getting these Bell bearings. Now, the first one, you'll have to beat Radon, which is over Star Scourge Radon, which you can reach from... Uh, Red Main Castle over here. And then once you beat him, you can go over to Fort Height West. There'll be a hole in the ground that'll take you underground and lead you to Nocron, the Eternal City. You'll go to the Nocron Eternal City side of Grace. And then from here, you'll head out to the east towards this gazebo. And there will be this body on the left side of the gazebo. And this one has the first one that we want. This is the Ghost Glovewort Pickers Bell Bearing 1. That'll let you buy Ghost Glovewort 1, 2, and 3. Now, the next one's a little bit more complicated. The next one, we're going to have to go to another underground, underground place, which will be, like, way over here. I don't have it on this character right now. I'll show you in a sec, though. Uh, where it's, like, Silfra, Aqueduct, and all these different places. Now, there's, like, there's a ton of different ways to get to these places. I'm just going to show you one of the ways you could get to them. Uh, but just know that there's more than one way to get where we're going. So the way that I'm going to show you is starting from the Ancestral Woods. You'll head out here to the north. And if you cross over through here, there's a, a sort of a secret path. It kind of feels like a secret path. You'll run past this courtyard with all these animals. And just past here to the north, you'll start to see jellyfish up in these woods. Once you see jellyfish, you know you're on the right track. Just keep running through here. And when you see four jellyfish in a little cluster, you're at the right location. From here, you're going to go over to the left and you're going to drop down right here to this sort of secret feeling path. And then you're going to come through this area. Very hard to see where I'm going without a torch. I should have put a torch on. And there's a grace here you can grab along the way if you want to. But then we're going to keep going. And you'll keep heading to the northeast. Following this ledge. And right here you can jump down. There's an enemy here. Now I'm just going to ignore everything. But there's an enemy here that tries to fight you. We're now at the Siofra Aqueduct. We're going to head over here to the east. Head out here. And there's an enemy over there also that I'm going to avoid. I'm just going to avoid all the enemies. So we're going to go through here and then head to the left right here, which is to the north. And then when you go out this way, there's going to be a boss that's going to be pretty difficult depending on how far you are through the game. With this character I'm using, it's going to be a, a real pain in the ass, but I'm probably just going to skip it so you don't have to watch me fight it. But you go up into here and there'll be a boss against the double, like the, you know, the stone gargoyles. Well, you're going to fight two of them at the same time here. So you got to beat these in order to continue. Okay, so after you beat these guys, then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the back of the room. There will now be a grace. I would recommend picking it up before you do this, just so you have this if you ever need it. And after picking up this grace, we're looking at a coffin over there. That coffin is where we want to go next, to go the way that I'm going. And again, this isn't the only way to get where we're going. It's just one of the ways to do it. I like this one because it's one of the early game ways to do it, although you have to beat bosses and stuff, but technically you can get here pretty early. Um... I think there's another with Ranny's quest line or something like that. But anyway, interact with the coffin. Skip that. And now you will be at a place called Deep Root Depths, which I didn't know was going to black screen for this long to load Deep Root Depths. Okay, so skip that. We are at Deep Root Depths. So our goal here, I don't have the map for it. Our goal is to get to, to a finger lady on a ledge. To get there, you can... Um, well, I want to grab this grace first, actually. Definitely want to grab this grace first. So you don't have to wait for that animation again. And honestly, I'm just going to speed this up because it's going to be a little bit of a run. So if you want to see this slow down, at the bottom right of the video player is a little cog wheel. And you can uh, hit that cog wheel and change the speed down to like times 0.25 times speed or something if you want to see this slow down. Otherwise, you're going to see it sped up because it takes a little bit of a run. We're going to head west. Okay, so here's another side of Grace by some crazy finger lady. And from here, you can see where we need to go. Right where I'm looking over there, we need to get over to that. Because over there is another coffin that will teleport us. So you can go around this way, and I'm going to speed it up again, just like before. Okay, so way out here, just like I was saying, you can see where I was over there a second ago. Way out here is another coffin. You're going to rest in this coffin now. We'll do the same thing as before, and this time it'll take you to another area. Is it... I don't remember what this place is called. Oh, Ansel River, Maine. There we go. That answers that question for me. So, 
Immediately, you will stumble upon a grace, a side of grace. Activate that for sure. You don't have to do all that again. And then from there, I'm going to speed it up again to show you where you need to go. Because again, it's going to be a little bit of a run. So now we're at Noxtella Eternal City. That's where I just ran to. I got the map so you can see it. We're right there, went through here, went over to here. From here, you're gonna head to the west. I get stuck on this statue. We're gonna go to the west. I'm gonna use Unseen Form, make it hard for enemies to see me. Really fun spell. Highly recommend picking it up. So we're gonna go up here. You're gonna go right past this enemy. And then you're gonna go up here and to the left. Run past all these guys. Hopefully don't get killed. It's very possible to get killed. And back here is a chest that they're guarding. And I opened it, I grabbed it, I'm gonna die now. Ghost Glovewort Picker's Bell bearing number two. That is where you get that one. And in case you're wondering, that room we were in on the map, right there. That one, right there. If it helps you at all, there it is on the map. So that's the second one. Now you can get Ghost Glovewort one, two, three, four, five, and six. But that loses with the last one. The last one's above ground, and you're not gonna be able to get to it till very late game unless you use crazy exploits. But you could use exploits. I know of a way you could exploit and get there early game, using the flying exploit. But anyway, Halig Tree. We need to go to Halig Tree. If you don't know how to get there, you can get a medallion at Castle, Castle Soul rooftop up here at Mount Top of the Giants. You can get the other one down here by a guy who's hit, disguised as a jar along a rock face by Village of the Albaneric Side of Grace. Use that at the side of roll to go into the second secret snow place. Go to Ordeal Liturgical Town and use a, a gate to send you to another dimension that light four things, four candles on statues. Then there's sending gate will open. You can take it to Halig Tree. Then you got to go all the way through Halig Tree. And uh, you got to beat some horse boss. You got to go through this prayer room. You got to go through like a rot swamp. And then you'll find yourself at a side of grace this character doesn't have. So just a sec. So this is the drainage channel side of grace up at Halig Tree. From here, you are going to head out this east exit. And it's going to be a kind of parkour, but not really. You're going to go up to this uh, tree root and over to here. Then you're going to have to drop down onto here. Now, there are a few different ways that we can do this, but I'm going to do this the most basic way. So we're going to go over to here and then drop onto this, drop onto this, and then go over here to the right and just immediately drop and exit the building. If you go in that building, there's a way to get to um, the one super hard boss. I forget her name, Melania or whatever. Anyway, out here, we're going to head northwest. If you have unseen form, it'll help a lot. But either way, there's just an insane number of these enemies that have the ranged missile attacks. I may just dive while recording this and look like a doofus and have to re-record it. We'll see. So you're going to sneak over here. It's on that, well, the body right here. Looks like I'm going to be able to get it. This one. No, not this one. Nope, I'm going to die now. This one. I got mixed up. It was this one. Got it. All right, I can die now. It's fine. That is where to get the Ghost Glovewort Pickers Bell Bearing number three. So that one is <laughs> not very fun to get without Unseen Form because those guys have that obnoxious ranged missile attack. But yeah, there's the third one. Now you have all three. You can buy the Ghost Glove Warts 1 through 9. And also to zoom in on the map, where I died was right here. You can see where my um, leftover runes are. So if that helps you out at all, there it is on the map. Now that you have the Ghost Glove Wart Picker's Bell Bearings, you're going to go to the Table of Lost Grace. You're going to head over here to the northeast, over this one over to this path, and over here you'll find the Twin Maiden Husks, which I'm sure most of you watching this are familiar with. Talk to this person, offer the bell bearings. I've already offered one of them, now I've offered all three of them. Now you go to purchase, and there they are. Ghost Glove Wart 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You can't buy 10 though, 10s are unique. You have to do New Game Plus and collect all of them on the map every time. But that is where to get all of them. Again, they cost, in not, not again, but they cost increasing amounts of runes, so to actually get them uh, is kind of rough. But you only need one per level for the summon. So in order to level summon from 0 to 9 is, I don't know, like 35,000, 40,000 runes, 50,000 runes. Something like 40, 50,000 runes maybe in order to do it. But yeah, that is goes Glove Warts. Also to level up Spirit Ashes. I have a video on it, but just a quick summary of how to level up these ashes. If you don't know, is there's that lady over here that you'll get. You meet her first at the, uh, what's this place called? Stormhill Shack. And I think even if you skip Storm Hill Shack and don't talk to her, she'll eventually be here. You talk to her and you go in here, you talk to the blacksmith and ask about her, then go talk to her again, then go talk to the blacksmith again, and do that over and over again, and then leave and come back, and then she will be here. 
and then you can talk to her and do spirit tuning, which is how you level up your ashes. Some ashes use ghost glove wart and some use grave glove wart. And then it also will cost runes in order to level them up. So hopefully that helps you out. But yeah, that's it. That is the locations for those. Now you know how to get the ghost glove wart pickers bell bearings one, two, and three in Elden Ring.